What is up you guys, it is Sam here, and today I'm going to teach you how to install Bucket for Minecraft 1.7.5 on your Mac. Here we go! So the first thing you want to do is head to the two links in the description below. One of the links leads to the Craft Bucket downloads page, and the other link leads to the Craft Bucket wiki page. Now, a couple of other things I want to get out of the way. Number one, make sure your Java is up to date. I will put a link in the description below to the Java downloads website if your Java is not up to date. Also, I there have been reports that people are getting an unidentified developer warning whenever messing with any with anything Minecraft related. Well, I have an article related to the unidentified developer warning in the description below as well. So if you ever run into that problem, that's where you can fix it. All right, so let's start with the Craft Bucket downloads page. Now you will notice that as of this video, the 1.7.5 build is a development build. Now a development build means download at your own risk because it might be unstable. Um, it's, I'm going to teach you guys how to download it because as time goes on, 1.7.5 will move to a beta build and then it will eventually move up into the screen box and it will become a, a recommended build as time goes on, as the bucket development team keeps putting more time into developing this specific version build. So I'm just going to click here and it will download the latest development build for 1.7.5. Again, if you're watching this video in the near future and 1.7.5 is in this box right here, click this box. And if it's in this box, click this box. All right, so now that that is done, let's exit out of the craft bucket tab and let's create a new folder. We are going to call it craft bucket. Head to your downloads folder and grab your craftbucket.jar that you downloaded and rename it so that way it's just craftbucket.jar. Let's drag that into our craft bucket folder. Now you need to open up text edit. You want to go to format and click make plain text. Let's open up Safari again and head to the Mac OS X section of setting up a server on the bucket wiki. You are going to copy and paste this right here and paste it into your plain text document. Let's click File, Save. And we're going to save this as start underscore server dot command in your craft bucket folder. Let's, so let's select that and let's click Save. Let's exit out of that and let's minimize this wiki just in case we ever have to go back to it. Now what you want to do is open up terminal. You want to type in chmod a plus x space. Do not hit enter. Do not hit enter just yet. Open up the craft bucket folder, drag the start underscore server file there and click enter. Now let's exit out of that. And now let's click the start underscore server file. And as you can see, a Minecraft server is being created. All right, so to make sure that our server is working, we are going to open the Minecraft application on your computer. You then want to head to multiplayer, and then you want to click direct connect, and you want to type in localhost, just like this, and click join server. Now, typing in localhost means only you can do it. Only the computer that is running the server can only type in localhost to access it. If you want to learn how to port forward your server, I will put a helpful video tutorial about that in the description below. And that is pretty much it. That is all you have to do to set up a craft bucket server. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this tutorial for how to make a bucket server for Minecraft 1.7.5 on your Mac. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave a comment below. I will happily, happily answer it. Also, if you are new to the channel and you want to subscribe for more cool content, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. And if you really enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button down below as well. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I am Sam, and I'm signing off.